Hello and welcome to Complete Games with me James, hope you're doing well and today I'm making my final preparations to go and face the Broodmother. Now um, this does take quite a bit of time to do guys so uh, that's why this video is taking me a little bit of time to put out uh, but I want to show you the process that goes into leveling up these Rexes. So we've got a load of eggs ready to hatch over here and uh, as you can see I'm still breeding um, Rexes. I'm actually at uh, five mutations now and um, yeah we've got nearly 10,000 health and I, I would like to get some more melee mutations on another dozen Rex just to face the dragon when we get there. I'm just thinking our Rexes might need a bit more melee damage. Um, this is Brie Larson or Captain Marvel. This is what we're going to be riding into battle. We'll be riding some Brie. And uh, these are the last two Rexes to be leveled up. Um, this one we're not going to be taking into the fight. This is the Super Rex 21 but uh, Super Rex 3 is still needing some levels so um, the only way or the best way to do this um, if you've got your own settings and using my settings is to uh, eat the baby Rexes but uh, if you're unofficial then well I guess you're going to be looking out for some alphas and you're going to have to level each Rex individually uh, but uh, doing it this way is hard enough. Yeah, it takes a while to do, but um, I've got my Lustros on as well to give me a little bit of extra XP. And uh, one's running away over here. And uh, I know there's another one over the back there somewhere. But yep, yeah, um, this will be the final Rex that I need to level. And uh, where did that go? There it is. And I've also got to level up Bree a little bit more. I haven't got a decent saddle for Bree, so she's just going in on a pre a primitive uh, saddle. I pretty much put all the Rexes up to around 50,000 health and uh, just the remaining points into uh, melee, but they're all nearly 50,000 health. So um, we will fight the Broodmother three times. We'll do it on Gamma, Beta, and Alpha, and uh, that'll also level up the Rexes for later on. Okay, so yep, this uh, just unclaim these guys. Okay, finally, and uh, go on, Bree. Let's get some levels. And yeah, really, all I need to level up on Bree here is health, and maybe I'll put a few points into stamina. But we won't be doing much fighting on her. She's pretty much just there for the charge roar, and uh, we'll have to direct the uh, Rexes off of Captain. Okay, so yeah, 23 points, and I've already killed some Rexes with her already, so um, yeah, let's just get, I don't know, up to 2,000 stamina, and yeah, I guess we'll put the rest into health. Let's keep going, so what have we got there? 67,000 health, and uh, we did nearly get a full imprint on her, uh, but like I say, we're not going to go breeding up uh, the Uteranus. I did lose that one Uteranus to the Dodo Rex so yeah that's um, one of the reasons why we haven't tamed and imprinted them up but like I say you need a really the decent saddle. The saddle makes all the difference really. Okay so um, we will uh, cryopod these two and uh, I've sent the rest over to the green obelisk so we're pretty much ready over there but of course, um, we do need to wait for these guys to get some health back. Especially Bree here, she's got to get at least another 40,000 points of health back. It still takes a little bit of time to transport everybody over. But I think this is better than just wandering over there and using the boat. So, it's a better way to do it than it was before. And uh, yeah, we'll just grab the lever. Still need all the lever I can get. Um, so yeah, the other plan today was I wanted to have a hunt round and see if I could find a half decent Deodon because between fights um, I want to be able to restore the health back and uh, I think 
It'd be better off having a day on to hand. I'm going to need him for the next few fights. Whether we take them into the final fight, um, probably not. I mean, we need a decent saddle really, and I've only got a primitive saddle. But at least if we find a half decent day on, we can uh, find some. We can uh, restore our dinosaur's health between fights. So I think. I've got everything I need. I've got a few bits on the Argentavis ready to go hunting and uh, let's make our way over to the Green Obelisk. See how the rest of the Rexes are doing. I just want to make sure I'm super ready for this fight and I'm probably I'll we'll have to have a look at what armor we've got as well. I think I might have to craft up some right gear at least for the final fight with the dragon. But uh, let's make our way to the Green Obelisk. Okay, so let's just get you out. As you can see, I've just got one asleep there still. But yeah, there's a cooldown timer just on the right hand side there that runs for five minutes. So you can't just chuck loads of dinos out at once. Let's just shove Bree in the middle here. Everybody else is on the platform and uh, we'll just wait for the other, for the cooldown to run out. Oh, I'm just getting pushed back. And uh, I'll put a couple of feeding troughs down around the outside, but yeah, like I say, that's not doing as good for healing the dinosaurs. So yeah, I think um, a day or dawn might like, make life a little bit easier for us. So. Let's just put this other Rex down and we'll wait for this cooler to end. Okay, so that's all our Rexes down. And uh, I'm going to head off to the north into the snow biome now. And I've pretty much managed to get all the Rexes on the platform there. They're all registering. So we're ready to fight in that department. But we've still... Like I say, we still need to restore some health on the Uteranus there on Bree. And so we're going to go and hunt, see if we can find a Deodon. Um, and I'll see you when we get there. So literally every single one I've come across has been a pretty low level. So not much luck on the Deodon front at the moment. And hey one's just attacking me there. So, I was only at level 10. Um, but yeah, we'll keep on hunting around. See what we can find. Where did that 55 go? We'll just get rid of that. But, um, always away. I think this is pretty much the last dinosaur I'm going to look for. Really. Um... We've got everything else we need to tame. I think I'll just use the Rexes for the final fight and uh, breed a different bunch for the dragon. So that's the plan. But yeah, I can't find any decent Deodons. There's not really much point in taming anything less than 100 because the food goes down just so quickly. Um, we may as well go and check out this purple drop while we're over here. But uh, we'll keep on hunting. I'm sure we'll get one eventually. I have been looking kind of keeping half an eye open for one. Um, but now that we've got here, I'm kind of... I'm not putting off the Broodmother fight. I just want to be as prepared as I can be. And uh, this this will help. So, let's have some wolves. Um, okay, well, let's just continue our hunt. See what we find. So, still nothing. It's that Sedeodon over there, a white one. What level's this? Um, oh, a 130. That will do. Uh, a 130 male, I think they said it was. Um, right, let's just pick him up. Um, we are quite close to the Cave of the Strong, so let's just head over that entrance and we'll just build something to tame it in. Okay, let's just drop you down here. That's where I found the Uteranus. Kind of got stuck down there. Um, but yeah, on Twitch I should have, or on me is it? Have I got some foundations? 
Uh, yeah, we got some foundations and some doorways. Let's just stick a couple of these down. That's a quite an easy tame once you've got an Argentavis. Um, where did I put the doors? They're still on you. They are. Okay. Yeah, just a sort of simple two by here was will do. Well, not like that. I won't. But yeah, I can just drop the diode on. I'm sure, it hasn't run very far. And there's the entrance to Cave of the Strong, which we did in the last episode. If you didn't check that out, that was quite a quite a long cave, but uh, we managed to do it just. And uh, I've got enough artifacts from there now. Okay, let's just put you inside here. Let's just try riding into it, see if that works. Nope. Actually, probably best just to drop you in. Let's just get above it. I think that's right. Yeah, that got it. So yeah, this would be quite an easy tame. I generally find uh, Deodons quite uh, quick to tame anyway, because when you start shooting them they start healing, which uh, downs their food, so they're immediately hungry when by the time you drop them. So there you go, it's just started its healing process on itself. So it will be using the food. It can sometimes take quite a few tranks to knock it out, but uh, it should be quite hungry by the time we do. So yeah, we'll come back when uh, when we've got this day done. Like I say, shouldn't take too many. Okay, yeah. So pretty much uh, ate all of that kibble straight away. So. Let's head back and drop you off at the obelisk. Um, let's grab Twitch. And uh, I'll think of a name while we're on our way. And we're also going to have to go and make a saddle for him. But uh, we need to head back to base just to check for some final stuff. And uh, grab some decent armor. I think I've got some half decent chitin armor back at the base. So... I think uh, now's the time to wear the best stuff that we've managed to find. Let's get ourselves back to the green obelisk. We'll see you when we get there. Okay, so I've decided to call him Sergeant Porkins and should be set to passive healing now. Filled him up with meat, but... Um, it looks like it's going to be a while before he's able to dish out another heal. So, I'm just checking. There wasn't another. Yeah, so he's set to um, auto heal. Um, but as soon as his food's gone back up, he won't be able to send out another healing burst. That's why I don't think he's much use in the final fight, really. Um... By the time you throw him out, by the time he's regened enough food to be able to give it out, he'll be dead. So, Sergeant Porkins, really, you're just going to have to stay here, bud, and uh, help us between fights. Let's just try and drag him in a little bit closer towards the Rexes so he can give off a bigger heal radius. And there you go, he's just, uh, just doing one now. So, that'll help us get uh, full health back a little bit quicker with uh, that combined with the freeding troughs at the edge there and uh, I guess if we get any points we'll uh, we'll just put them into food and what are we are a couple of thousand off on uh, super rex free but uh, yeah Brie Larson yeah well you're not even uh, halfway done yet so that's okay we've still got some stuff to do back at base but uh, we'll leave them here healing up ready for the fight and looks like we got a level um, 
I should have actually you should really pump it into food. I will just pump Sergeant Porkins food instead of uh, weight from now on I think or health because I don't think I will use I don't think we could use them I guess we could put them on passive but I don't know um, I think having an extra Rex would be uh, would be better if we had a decent saddle then I'd definitely take it but we haven't managed to find anything for the day I'd on so I think it'll be mainly Rexes let's get back to base and do some crafting Okay, so I've just got all my chitin armor together. I've found a couple of blueprints. Um, we can do a ch uh, an ascendant chest piece. Um, so that's better than the mastercraft one that I have here. So we'll take that. And I haven't got enough chitin to do the the leg armor. I um, wonder if it would work with keratin instead. Probably not because it's chitin armor, but. I'd kick myself because I've got loads of keratin, so I'll just check if it maybe it will work. Say so maybe. And where's the Ingram? Um, no, it doesn't register. That's okay though. We've got uh, a reasonable set here, a complete set of chitin gear. We've got ascendant gloves and chest piece, mastercraft pants. So, that'll do, that'll do. Okay, so, just crafted up the Deodon saddle. Um, we've got our food, we've got our med brews. So, I think that's about everything we're going to need to face the brood mother. Stick our armour on. Okay, and... Um, and I'll just stick this away. Let me space. No. Just checking. There's nothing really that I have better. I've got some a few Mastercraft kits there, but yeah, that'll do. Um, nothing in there. I need to take. Okay, so I'm, I think I'm about as ready as I can be to face the Broodmother. We've got our best armor. I've got some healing brews. All our Rexes are leveled up. The time has come for the big battle. And uh, But that is about all the time I've got for this episode of Complete the Arc. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more of the Complete the Arc series. And until next time, which will be soon, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.